Last week, I posted my predictions for the Oscar winners, and I explained a little bit about why I chose what I chose. Well, now that the Oscars are over, I'm revisiting my predictions to see how I did. And some of the categories aren't pretty. Hey, hey, it's Ryan here with a little bit of movie talk. So the Oscars happened and everyone is talking about the slap. And honestly, I hate that it's overshadowed everything else about the awards. There were so many fun things that happened. Coda won, Dune got six Oscars, so many great things to talk about. But this isn't my reaction to the Oscars. It's my reaction to my own predictions. So let's get right to it. Here we go. In this video, I'm giving my predictions in each of the 23 Oscar categories. I could be so wrong in so many of these. Kinda was. All right, the first category we're jumping into is animated feature film. Really loved the Mitchells vs. the Machines. I thought that was did. such a great and fun movie. But I am definitely going with Encanto in this category. It's uh, definitely the front runner. And I think for all of the Academy members that have children, they might get in trouble if they don't choose Encanto. So yeah, so but for animated feature happened. film, I'm going with Encanto. Next Ding. up we have documentary feature. This one's not so pretty. Tough one. I know that Summer of Soul probably has the momentum right now. It's been winning a lot of awards lately. Should have gone with that one in hindsight. Uh, I think Flea has a really good shot. And Flea made history, being the only film that's ever been nominated for all three categories: animated feature, true. Film, documentary, and I do wish it had won international feature film. So there's definitely some support for that film, and I think don't do it if it's gonna don't win. Don't do it. A documentary. And I think there's a consensus oh. around that, so... There wasn't. For everyone who likes Flea, I think a documentary feature is where they're going to award that film, so... So for documentary feature, I'm going to go with Ooh. Flea. Next up, we have International This one was film. pretty straightforward, I feel Family like. Family Car is definitely the front runner in this category, and I think it's going to win. So yeah, for International Feature Film, I'm going two for to three so drive far. my car. Not too right, bad. Moving on to the shorts. This we is where it gets bad. short film. I've actually seen a lot of people predicting Bestia uh, to win lately, but I think that didn't my happen. choice is going to be Robin Robin. It's the more uplifting nope. one, it's the more lighthearted film of these shorts. I'm going to stick with Robin Robin Oops. for animated shorts. <laughs> Documentary short subject. So I've been hearing a lot of people talking about Audible and The Queen of Basketball. Both of them are really good. Uh, the Queen of Basketball I thought was fascinating and it was such a fun watch. Well, Audible is definitely should have gone with it. it tackles a very heavy subject. So I'm gonna go with the, the obvious choice here. Not so obvious. Audible. Should not have gone with that one. Should have just gone with my gut, which one I actually enjoyed. Which brings us to live action short film. I believe this so was the only short film that I got correct. The Long Goodbye. It stars Riz Ahmed. It was super powerful. After mm -hmm. it ended, I just had to sit there and just process what I saw. I'm gonna stick with The Long Goodbye. Way to uh, stick with it. Live action short film. All right, moving on to the music and sound categories. First up, we have original score. For this one, I really think it's going to be between Dune and The Power of the Dog. But in Dune, Hans Zimmer's I think score I got this one right. is definitely incredible. And just the, the music and the sound, just the whole audio experience for that movie was such a, just a key part of that film. True. This one's actually a hard one for me. I'm just going back and forth between Dune and The Power of the Dog. But I think the Academy might be ready to hand Hans Zimmer um, another Oscar. Uh, uh, what great insight, Ryan. I think that one is going to be the one to win. So yeah, I'm going to go with Dune for original score. Check. Original song. Well, first uh, of all, Bond movies have had a lot of success at the Oscars in recent years, um, so it's really hard to count that one out. I think No Time to Die very well could win. Also, Dos definitely could. Contest from Encanto. Encanto soundtrack uh, has been very popular. So yeah, I think I'm gonna stick with Dos Orguitas. Should have gone with song. Bond. Now for best sound. I think this is one of the easier categories to call. Yeah. This one was pretty straightforward. Dune this no shock so here. For sound, I'm going with Dune. Next up, we have costume design. I'm gonna go with Jenny Beaven um, and her work in Cruella for costume design. Moving on to production design. I think it's gonna be between Nightmare Alley and Dune. And I think if the Academy votes for something- I like really thought nostalgic. it could have been Nightmare Alley, so I was a little Nightmare scared about Alley, this one. I think just the world building um, and just the immersiveness uh, in Dune is gonna win out. So for production design, I'm gonna go with Dune. Check. 
I definitely feel like I did better on some of the more technical categories and not as great on some of the bigger All categories. Right, next up we have makeup and hairstyling. The Eyes of Tammy Faye is also a really strong contender. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say right. The Eyes of Tammy Faye for makeup and hairstyling. So moving on to visual effects, Dune is definitely walking into Yeah, this the one was pretty straightforward too, I thought. Category, and I don't see an upset happening in visual nope. effects. So for this category, I'm gonna go with Dune. Check. All right, next up we have film editing. I just, I think the editing in Dune is incredible. And the way they use different editing techniques and styles to strengthen the story and to convey key parts of the story. It was just really incredible. So I do think Dune has a really good shot here. Um, I definitely would love to see Dune winning. So it's kind of a head and heart um, good combo here. So for film editing, I'm going with Dune. All right, Check. next up we have cinematography. Ugh. I think it's gonna come down to The Power of the Dog or Dune. Greg Frazier, though, for Dune. Should have gone with him. up the awards. Yes. I think he's probably the front runner going into the Oscars now. Uh, then why didn't I, I choose it? Very well could be Dune. My head is telling me Dune, but my heart is telling me the power of the dog. Head or heart? Head or heart? Head. Uh, I don't even know. It could go either way. No. Uh. Okay, so for cinematography, I think I'm going to follow my heart on this one and go the power Meh. of the dog. I could regret that. <laughs> I do. Okay, we'll see. Okay, so the power of the dog is in the All right, moving on to the writing categories. So Coda's won a couple of documents. I really did not think Coda was going to get this. I'm still going to say the power of the dog. Yeah, this one's another hard one. I think it's going to be between Coda and the power of the dog. Again, at least I mentioned the winner. I think the power of the dog will end up winning this category. So for adapted screenplay, go in power of the dog. So wah, wah. this category is between Belfast and Licorice Pizza. This one this I oddly felt more confident about. I think Belfast is gonna win Best Original Screenplay. So out of all seven Belfast nominations, I think this is the only one that has a likely chance of winning. So if Academy members are looking to and award And it Belfast, is the only one it won, so. Where it'll happen, I think. Don't. So for Original Screenplay, I'm going with Belfast. Oh, so good call there. All right, now we're getting to the acting category. I nailed the acting For category. Actor supporting role. This category has been a race between two different people, Troy Kotzer and Cody Smith McPhee. Troy Kotzer definitely has the momentum now. He's definitely the heart of the movie. He was so good in Coda. And so for actor in a supporting role, I'm gonna go with Troy Kotzer. Check. That one is pretty straightforward too. And for too. actress in a supporting uh, so role, is this one. DeVos has won pretty much every precursor award leading up to the Oscars. Um, and I, yeah, I was really happy that Ariana won this one. So, She's great. Uh, she was wonderful in West Side Story. I don't think there's anything that can stop her. She was a super fun point. winner. I'd be pretty shocked if uh, Ariana did not win. So for actress in a supporting role, I'm going Ariana DeBose. Check. Now we've got actor in a leading role. Well, this was My a little dramatic. Pick would be Andrew Garfield. I think he was just fabulous in Tick, Tick, Boom. He was so good. If we were to do a revote on this one, I wonder if the outcome would be any different. I highly suspect it would. Um, maybe my boy Andrew Garfield would have gotten one. But right now it's Will Smith. He's won all the big precursor awards. He was phenomenal in King Richard. He did a great job. Kind of like Ariana DeBose, I don't think there's really anything stopping him at this point. So on Oscar night, I think it's gonna be Will Smith. And it was. For actor in a leading role. All right, Check. and now we have actress in a leading role, which throughout the award season has been one of the more interesting uh, categories to watch. It's so crazy that this Jessica wasn't like the one everyone, everyone was talking about this year. Momentum. She did such a great job portraying Tammy Faye Baker. Not only do I think she's gonna be rewarded for this role, but I, I think it's mm -hmm. gonna be a nod to some of her other roles that she should have been nominated for or even won an Oscar for in the past. And so for actress in a leading role, I'm gonna go Jessica Chastain. All right, next up we have the nominees for directing. All Again, really I felt films. this one was a All pretty really easy directors. one. But pretty much everyone was guessing Jane Campion, Campion for this Campion's one, so. Lose for a while now. Yeah, so for this category, I'm definitely going Jane Campion with The Power of the Dog. Check. Last category, Best Picture. Oh, goodness gracious. So, <sighs> really early on, Belfast was the front runner. 
Yeah. Then the power of the dog was a front runner for quite a while. Most yep. recently, Coda has been gaining a lot of momentum. I've seen a lot of people uh, more than I thought. And, apparently, um, I mean, it is the more uplifting choice. I mean, if Academy members are wanting to choose a film that is just really heartwarming, is really uplifting, um, they did that uh, just makes us feel good. When we Should have gone with it. Coda is the that signs option. were there. The power of the dog with its twelve nominations. I mean, that that alone shows the support that it has across. That's Academy. It's definitely not an that's, uplifting story. That's what I couldn't I get past was the 12 nominations for Power of the Dog. I just, oh, I didn't see Coda overcoming that obstacle, but I was wrong. I think the most likely movie to win at this point is The Power of the Dog. Really thought that? So for Best Picture, I am going with Power of the Dog. Well, uh, oh well. Again, at least I mentioned the winner and talked about it a little bit. I'm actually excited that Coda won. It was a really good movie. I thoroughly enjoyed it. So it looks like that means I missed seven. Not too great. So I got 16 out of 23 correct. Um, yeah, I'll take it. I definitely went with my heart on some of these. Um, definitely paid for that a little bit. So that'll be good to remember for next year for sure. For most of the ones that I got wrong, I at least mentioned who actually won. So maybe I get a couple bonus points for that, I don't know. But yeah, not too shabby, I guess. All right, well, that was definitely a little painful in places. But if you enjoyed it, I'd love it if you hit that like button so that this video can spread to more people. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.